<laughs> this little video tip is for you Mercedes enthusiasts who love these old cars and have, you know, lived with them and driven them and have dealt with problems before and you're looking at all these ignition switch and lock assemblies and you're kind of chuckling. Oh yeah, I've been there, Ken. There may be some of you that haven't been there yet. You, you know, you, you've heard about potentials for, uh, you know, these problems with these units and I was going to just share with you something simple that you can check. You know, I'm not going to cover everything, but one of the, one of the things is that you can go back, like here, this is back into the 60s, this is up into the 80s, and here's one into the 90s. They didn't change these a whole lot, they varied them a little bit, but from the, the early 60s right up to the mid 90s, these are basically the same. You have a tumbler and key assembly here, you have a lock assembly, so when you turn the key and remove it, the lock comes out and that's what locks your steering and but on the back side you have an electrical switch and this controls the current to various functions including your starter motor okay so if you're having problems maybe you know your starter is not turning over some of your electrical equipment is not coming on like it should it could be this switch right here one of the first clues that the switch is failing and usually they fail they disintegrate you follow me? They come apart inside. One of the first clues is when you put the key in and you turn the key, you're going to feel some roughness and it won't spring back. If you notice when you turn it all the way to the start position, you know, you pull the key out, put it in, turn it to the start position, release it, you can feel it. You can actually feel it inside spring back. If it's not springing back or it's feeling real rough, it usually means this switch right here is bad. It's not the lock, it's not the tumbler assembly, it's the switch. Now, we have special kits on our website with some tools I developed which will allow you to get in behind there and replace the switch without having to remove this from the car. It's pretty slick. So if you're having that issue, you know, be sure and check that out on my website. Any issues related to ignition locks and tumblers and electrical switches. I believe Mercedes Horse has the most complete uh, resources available for the DIY mechanic for those models from the 60s right up to the mid 90s. So be sure and check them out. Just follow the links below in the description of this video.